Hi guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. I have some dried results. This is the Gail Burn Burston inspired pour I did, or swipe um, and schmear. It turned out beautiful. And the white actually has a lot of that um, iridescent pearl in it. And it's just gorgeous. It's just blinging like crazy. We've got some really nice effects here. So I'm happy with this one, yay! And these two, this is the Dutch pour um, I did with the Artist Loft Flow White that I added just, um, I followed Canela's recipe of no water and then I just added a little bit of water and it seems to have worked. So I'm kind of happy with this one. This one's going to my sister. So, and then I have this one, which was a, turned out really soft and pretty. Um, I think, I'm gonna to try tonight to do another one of these, but with um, a lot more color, um, and hopefully I can get some of this to stay and not have it taken over. But I do wanna use a blow dryer, and I'm gonna do a split um, a split uh, base on it too. So, let's get started. This is one I tried the other day. I um, put way too, I had like three, three, three or four different paintings in one painting. So it, um, it was just a little bit too busy and I want to try it again, but with, um, with this, actually I want to show you. This is what I use. It's the um, essential teal that I had tinted, but this is the, the base. It's the deep base 7753. And um, I think I got this information from Tara of um, Pieces of Tara. So she tints her own with this base. I had them tint it for me because I happen to like this color a lot. And I also have my, um, my white deco art. So I'm gonna put half and half. I don't know how, but we'll figure it out. I'll do it right now. I have already, whoop, yeah, that should be enough on that one side. I don't know if I should. I've already taken my, um, oop, it's getting stuck. I've already um, painted the corners so that it sticks on the sides down this is a little bit thicker mix wow it's really it's I don't think it's thicker I think <laughs> it is thicker but I don't think there we go it's starting to move now um, it's just a large canvas so there's a lot of paint that has to flow down but I will put the um, recipe in the description I put six ounces instead of eight ounces of water in it so it's not quite as watery and it allows the cells to stick a little bit better. So I'm gonna just leave that like that. And then I'm gonna put my other base on the other side. Woo, this is exciting. I love this color. So I'm still getting ready to do a large one like this for an exhibit at the airport. Um, and I'm practicing on smaller paintings, although this is a bigger, this is a bigger, smaller painting. I'm gonna do a three foot by three foot. So 36 by 36 inch. I've got several canvases. So um, that's the size I wanna use for the exhibit. And I'm just, every time I, I turn around, I come up with a, something else and I'm like, oh, this will work better. Oh, this will work better. So I'm really liking the hair dryer with um, the cloud mix. And um, I'm going to work it on this one. Do, 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 do. I figured it was easier to just do this. I want to make sure I get my sides really good. There we go. Really well good English. <laughs> All right, 
now I'm going to tilt it a little bit just to make sure I don't have too much paint on. All right. There's some interesting colors. All right, tilting. Yeah, there's too much paint. Although we are going to be blowing it with a blow dryer, so there's one little, there we go, bald spot there. And once the colors go down, now I'm going to try and be a little more frugal with my colors because I kind of went crazy the other day. I didn't, I, um, I didn't post that video. I do have it, but I don't think I'm going to post it. The one that I just poured over. Um, I, unless you want to see, you know, you guys let me know. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now, interesting. I am, I've got, this is a combination of Payne's Gray by Golden. I've mixed in some Modern Masters in Venetian Blue. And I have also put in some Thalo Turquoise. This is Pebio in um, blue green, iridescent blue, no, iridescent green blue, green blue. And it's also Amsterdam um, aqua green. This is TLP ball gown. This is TLP. I mixed up galaxy and velvet together and I got this really cool color. I have golden quinacridone nickel azo gold fluid with some gold. That is the uh, decor 24 karat gold. I also have this is golden. It's interference blue. Interference blue. So let's play. Mm. I also have a little bit of this is the golden um, iridescent pearl. Where do I want to start? I think I might do a little cup. Kind of like a, kind of like a, uh, let me see. Ring pour, not a pour, well, just a pour of some kind here. Some gown. And I'm going to pour this right here. Then I'm going to take, I want lots of this over here. That's lots. And on top of that, I'm going to put so this is going to be kind of be two different kinds of pores too. is one painting. Um, what else do I want? Hmm. I'm going to tilt it first, then blow it out. Um, do some ball gown over here too. And then 
down. I'm gonna bring it a little bit closer to center first. And then down this way. And then we're gonna blow. Still lots of color. <laughs> oh my. I really like it though. Wow. <laughs> All right. Something interesting. It's already starting to sell up. My new hair dryer. I love it. Once I tilted it all off, there wasn't any more paint. Oh, there it is. Oops. To blow out. I really love this though. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here. Um, like we need something down here. Well, maybe not. Hmm. Kind of looks like two paintings again. I love what's going on here. Don't know if I like what the blowout. I think I should have left well enough alone. But, oops, I'm going to put it right like this. There's not enough paint on the top. That's what it is. I tilted it all off. Well, it's a good thing I'm doing these practice ones before I get on the big one to do it. There we go. Well, it's not exactly what I was expecting. But it ain't over till it's over. that I need to take care of this corner. 
no paint on it. How did that happen? I haven't tilted enough. Kind of like the negative space going on down here. I really love that. That's what this paint does. It creates that lacing that's like unbelievable. This is not bad. Um, I am going to turn it around. It's stuck. It's stuck. Oh my God. Oh gosh. All right, I'm going to turn it around. Oh, jeez. And play. I'm going to play. Am I centered? Kind of, sort of. I really like that ball gown in here. And I like that I did the, um, I did a pour on it. See, some of the cells are coming up here because I blew it with the blow dryer, so. I kind of like these big fat cells down here too. All right, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna put you on time lapse.
I am really liking this. <clears throat> I got all the effects I was looking for. Um, learned some lessons always, every day. So I love the lace in here and I love the negative space because that color is to die for. The Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold always shines next to that color. Um, when I blew it out, I didn't have enough paint at the top because I tilted it all off. <laughs> so I added a little bit, but um, it's fine. I mean, that reaction is good for me. And then when I did the um, enhancements, I used the flatter part of the palette knife to bring these up here. And I like that effect better. I'm happy with that. And then I blew it out right there too. And there's an explosion of cells and the ball gown on top of those blues is so special. It looks like oysters, oyster shells. So that corner is really sold up nice. Pretty happy with this and I'm confident I'm going on to the big one now. So please like, share, and subscribe. Please be safe and create. And ciao for now.